A warm welcome to our online family Christingle service. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Ben. I'm the associate vicar in this group of churches. We're going to have great fun today singing some carols and making a Christingle and finding out about the meaning of these strange objects. I do hope you enjoy it. Let's sing our first carol now. need to be adult supervision as you make the Christingle uh, as one part involves using a sharp knife. You can pause the video at any time to complete any of the steps. For our first step you'll need your orange and your red ribbon. The orange is big and round and heavy just like our planet and so the orange reminds us of the world that God made and loves. It's a good idea to ask your adult to slice a little bit off the bottom of the orange so that you can stand it up without it wobbling around. You can also place it on a tray or chopping board to catch any drips that come out. The next step is to tie the red ribbon around your orange and secure it with a knot. The red ribbon makes us think about gifts. It's the kind of thing you'd tie a around a gift that you were about to give to someone at Christmas. It reminds us that God loved the world so much that he gave his only son 
to die for us. For our next stage you'll need your candle, your piece of silver foil and a sharp knife. You'll definitely need your grown-up to help with you uh, at this stage. Ask your grown-up to slice a cross, a small cross, in the top of your orange. Then lay your small square of silver foil on top of the cross. This is to stop the wax from running down once your candle's lit. Then firmly push the candle into the top of the orange, like that. The candle reminds us that Jesus is the light of the world. And we're going to think a little bit more about that later in the service. And now the bit you've all been waiting for, the sweets. For this part you'll need four cocktail sticks and your packet of sweets. Again, maybe with the help of a grown-up, push two of the sweets onto each of the four cocktail sticks like that. Then push each of the four cocktail sticks into your orange like this. The four cocktail sticks and the sweets remind us of the four seasons and all the good things that God has given us to enjoy. Food and friends and family, sport and music and holidays. Once you've finished pushing the sticks into the orange, you've completed your Christingle. Well done. We're going to light the candle in a few moments. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, and without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not overcome it. Well, I'm here in Barchester Church, and as you can see, it is very, very dark. The only light I have is the candlelight from the Christingle. Can you see the way the light from the candle drives the darkness away? Now, if we're being honest, it's been a pretty dark year, hasn't it? What with the coronavirus? It's been a difficult year. But now, just in the last month, we've heard the wonderful hope uh, that a vaccine has now been developed and has started to be given to people in this country. That was a small little bit of light at the end of a very dark year. But for the Christian there is a greater hope, a brighter light even than that of the coronavirus vaccine. That light is Jesus. In the reading from John's Gospel I just read, Jesus is said to be the light who shines in the darkness. Why does John speak about him in that way? First, Jesus came at Christmas to drive away the darkness of our hearts. God is light, and so when we turn away from God, we plunge ourselves into spiritual darkness. Jesus came to bring us back to God. He died for us so that God could forgive us for all those times we've turned from him. Jesus drives away the darkness of our hearts. And second, Jesus drives away the darkness of death. Death is the thing in this world that makes us most sad and causes most pain. Jesus came that first Christmas to beat death forever. He did that when he rose again from the dead. He beat death. And now he offers life to all who trust in him. Jesus drives away 
the darkness of death. So that's why Christians call Jesus a light shining in the darkness. Because he drives away the darkness of our hearts and he drives away the darkness of death. Jesus drives away our darkness. And the light and hope that he brings, nothing can overcome. If you're interested in finding out more about Jesus, the light in the darkness, um, do look at the printed sheets of paper I've given you in your Christingle packs. They're a copy of the true story of Christmas from the Bible. Kids, why don't you get your grown-up to read that to you? Uh, for grown-ups, there's also a short leaflet uh, that talks about Christmas hope in a Covid world. As we finish, let's sing our final carol.